My, I am very excited about this. Okay, here we go. A one, a two, a one, two. Eight beautiful miles. Remember, on the starting line, who was willing to make the sacrifice to get out and still train when you didn't really want to? This is where the winning happens, right here. Thank you, snowplow drivers! Thank you! We love you! Nothing like closing out a 140 mile week with a little high knee action. Oh yeah. Okay, let's break it down everybody. Just, I gotta record in the kitchen because everyone's napping and I, I tend to project my voice when I get excited. So I, I gotta hide in the, and, and I can't go to the studio cause it's a blizzard out there. So I'm just gonna hang out right here, talk to you all about volume. Oh man, 140 baby. And yes, we will open these up here in a little bit. Um, Something big's happening on the YouTube channel. You're watching this Monday morning. So something big is happening. I will announce it as soon as the details are all ironed out. It connects to what's inside these bags. Today's Sunday. I'm just gonna try and communicate as clearly and concise as possible about running my highest volume ever in one week in my entire life. First of all, Glass City Half Marathon. I am not recommend, by communicating this with you, gotta say this up front, I'm not recommending you go out and run high volume, okay? People react to different types of training in different ways. Some people react really well to speed training on the track. Some people react really well to weightlifting in the gym. Some people don't. I know some people personally who I trained with in the past and they did not react well to lifting in the gym, okay? Story for another day. And yes, some runners react well to 95 miles a week. Some runners react well to 150 miles a week, okay? So as I'm communicating with you, it's not about my, it's, it's about finding what works for you and it's taken me, yes, two, de two decades to continue to, uh, fit. well, I just, I just set a half marathon PR as a 35 year old about two months ago in Naples, Florida. Great day, great race. And I topped out in the previous training block at 130 miles a week. However, I did not hit my A goal. My A goal, as you all know, was to break 105. Therefore, I keep tinkering and figuring out, okay, in the Glass City Half Marathon on, in Toledo, Ohio, on April 25th, 2021, what is, do, is 140 miles a week gonna push me through that 105 into the 104 barrier? We don't know. We're gonna find out in about six weeks, okay? So that is where uh, we are currently right now. I just finished, I just got back in the blizzards conditions um, 10 miles to top off, yes, my first week ever at 140 miles as a 35 year old. Lifetime volume, let's break it down. Here we go. This is really, really interesting. Really interesting. 
especially I'm just going to give a little shout out to the middle schoolers and high schoolers out there. I know you watch the channel. I'm just communicating with you how I've arrived at this point able to run in the 105s for a half marathon. Not a bad time. And the hopes of breaking 30 minutes in the 10K in Naples, Florida in three or in four weeks from now, okay? So middle school, 1998, 25 miles, okay? High school, senior year, 45 miles a week. That's it. Now, I'm not saying that was the right decision, but that's where I was at. That's where my coaches had me, right about that 40 to 45 mile window per week as a senior in high school. Then I made a pretty big jump personally. I didn't have a coach. I went from 45 to 75 to in order to walk on to the CU cross country team. Sure enough, it worked. I maybe topped out maybe once or twice at 80 um, before I walked on. Okay, so 75 to I'll be I'll, I'll say 75 to 80 for and this was 2005. Okay, hopefully you can see that senior year at CU right around the 100 mile a week mark. Okay, we dabbled at 90 90 miles a week. We dabbled at 105. It just depended on where we were at in the training cycle, but I'm going to say 100 miles a week, senior year, uh, cross country and track. And then I put YouTuber for 2019. That's when the channel really started to grow. And that's when I really started to take mountain running, especially a little more seriously, 115. And I'll try and put kilometers on the screen if I have time, 115 miles a week. Okay. So that would be in 2019. And now in 2021, as I attempt to run faster on the roads and in the mountains, okay, yes, I decided to dabble at 140 miles a week. This is the first week ever, and I put a question mark because we don't know what's going to happen, all right? No, we can't, we don't know exact, I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but I'm hoping that by building that aerobic engine more consistently, I'm going to slowly, slowly, slowly drop my times okay run prs again as a 35 year old so we got to keep dreaming we got to keep fighting so there's my lifetime volume and i'm gonna hold 140 miles a week uh for one more week okay 140 miles a week for one more week at the end of week eight so next week and then boom drop down and, and this is i put a question mark here uh, first of all, I put a snow question mark. I don't know how long it's going to take for the snowstorm to melt away in order to run fast again on the, you know, on a track or wherever. Uh, but I'm going to go from 140, maybe to 120, maybe to 115, maybe to 100. I don't think I'll go below 100, but the key now is to start to freshen up, use that aerobic base for speed and a lot of it, a lot, a lot, a lot of speed. So I'm very excited. There you go, everybody. Okay, calling it there for now, and then uh, we'll open these packages. Hopefully that just helps give you uh, that picture, all right? Oh, and again, you gotta find for your personal genetics, your personal, your personality, your, where you're at emotionally, where you're at mentally, where you're at, just your physical development. And that's where I'm not a big fan of high schoolers running 80 miles a week. And I hear that's more and more common these days where high school cross country programs will have, and I, listen, I know it's like, every, listen to your coach, but I just think kids are still developing so much in high school physically that I think you have to be very cautious running too high a volume. Again, it's taken me, many, many years to arrive. It just doesn't happen everywhere. It takes years and years and years to arrive here. All right, Whew, calling it. So I've seen, a, I've seen a lot of things go down our street before, but never a snowmobile. Snowmobile just drove by, yeah. It's deep out there, everybody. All right, comment of the day goes to, from yesterday's vlog, if you saw it, you know what this is all about. Cameron McBride says, wait, SJD, are you telling me that watching YouTube videos about running doesn't count as running, question mark, Cameron? You would be correct, sir. You, if you saw today the vlog that published today, you know what that's all about. All right, let's open these boxes. Thank you, Cameron, for the comment. And uh, so here's the deal. What I'm about to open is a big, big hint as to the forthcoming interview here on this YouTube channel, all right? So 
uh, based on there, they are running shoes, okay? Oh man, that's I. So there's two bags, but one of them is really gonna give away who the interview is with, okay? Let's see. Okay, it is not that one. It is not that one. All right, ready? Here we go. Here we go. Hold on. Okay, ready? I hope it's. Oh, it's not this one either. And we're back. We're back. I found the box. I found it, everybody. Here it is. Okay. So these shoes will give away who will be appearing on the channel in the not so distant future. Sorry about that. I, I knew they were somewhere in this house. Oh my, my. I am very excited about this. Okay. Here we go. A one, a two, a one, two, three. The Phantasm, there it is from Solomon. Oh my goodness, let's pull out this. Oh my, my, I wish I had a scale right now to Energy Surge, R Camber, S Lab, Phantasm. Wow, I'm gonna say, it has a tag on, I'm gonna say six ounces. Feels about like six ounces, which is good in my size. Let me just make sure, confirm. Yes, in my size, unbelievable. All right, so a road racing shoe from Solomon. If you know the story behind this shoe, where the shoe has been appearing in the not so distant past, is that right way, is it right way to say it? Uh, you know who I will be interviewing here on the channel very soon. All right, now we're closing out the vlog. Question of the day. If you could ask the best ultra runner in the world, arguably, what would you ask that ultra runner, okay? If you could ask the best ultra runner in the world, all right, arguably, what would you ask this person? That's the question of the day, and yes, it connects to what should be happening on the channel in the next day or two, all right? I'm not gonna put a hard and fast date yet, but stay tuned for more updates on that all over social media. There you go, the so oh my my. This is very interesting, everybody. Whoa, whoa, that is fascinating. All right, I'm very excited about this guy. All right, everyone, there you go. Onward and upward, thanks for being here, thanks for watching, we will toss it to, um, where I talk about training and mileage and how many miles a week you might want to consider running based on your experience level. All right, so there you go, right there, right there, right there. All right, see beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow. Good job, Michael.